Sometimes, most of the time, you want clean, beautifully sculpted, thought out guitar tones. And many of you spend your whole life searching for those. But today is not about that. It's about a question, can we destroy the guitar, the tone of the guitar? Can we make it something that most people hate, but some people love? There's 3% of you watching who are gonna enjoy this. 97% of you probably need to walk away. You don't need to see what's about to happen because you're never gonna recover. It's gonna shake you to your core. You're gonna question everything. The first of seven pedals that I'm going to offer up today that could potentially destroy your guitar in the most beautiful way, of course, is the Maris Autobit Junior. There is a uh, module of this for synths, but they put it in a pedal. I'm going to shoot really straight. I'm working on a bio of Maris. They're amazing. I haven't dug into this one completely, and I'm not even sure how to define it. I think that it harkens back to the better days of low bit sounds. I think that's what's going on here. I'm going to set it up so it's doing some kind of glitchy repeat one echo sub octave nightmare sound. And we're just going to see where it takes us. I guess. That was like if Talking Heads hung out with Regius Machine and played Lollapalooza 96, 97. I don't know, but it was really good. It was almost, with the slide part, a little too musical. But I think, you know, if you're asking the question, does it destroy a guitar? I think it definitely destroys the guitar. Guitar destroy. Next up is the Matoverse Air Trash. I just want to read a bit of the copy here off my phone. It kind of says it all. I'm not going to say anything after I read this. The Air Trash is a pedal for guitar or bass that sounds like absolute garbage. That, that was beautiful. It really made me reflect back on just my relationship with my mom and dad and, you know, the hard times we go through. Life's hard, and I just I dedicate that song to everybody that needed some encouragement today. Um, you know, and you're probably asking the question, or at least I am, does it destroy the guitar? I think it definitely, it destroyed the guitar. Guitar destroy. Number three is from Death by Audio. I mean... 
there's no way Death by Audio is not getting into this episode. It's the Echo Dream 2 Advanced Echo Modulation. Lots of knobs, enough switches to make you feel like you got some options, and complete total chaos with echo, fuzz. It's it's a wonderful machine, and I, I think I'm going to pre-title this song because I know what's coming, and uh, it's an Echo Nightmare. I think Echo Nightmare is nice. Like when you, you're having a nightmare... And it keeps repeating, so it's like an echoing nightmare. Man, that's deep. It's deep. And that that's a haunting, haunting melody, those parts. I mean, I may that stay with you the rest of your life in the worst way. The question at hand, of course, is did it destroy the guitar? It was beautiful yet broken, and I think it was mostly broken. So, yeah, I think it destroyed the guitar. Number four in this journey of pure annihilation is... The Fuzzerocious Pedals Magator Gated Fuzz Decomposer. From the name alone, I feel like it's promising. It's got three springs on it. Hear that? So I'm gonna play guitar through it. I'm gonna destroy the guitar, at least try to. And there's a switch here that says bite or squirm. So when you go into squirm mode, the guitar doesn't really do anything. And then I'm gonna slip this little plastic finger hand on one of my fingers. And we're just gonna take this to Jazz Scary Town. We're just gonna do some of this stuff. I, I'm excited about it. Probably be horrible though. Next up is the Mountain King Electronics. Mountain King is one word. The Decomposer. I've had this for a while. They have some really cool stuff. So I'm going to see if I can decompose the guitar. I'm going to see if I can destroy it here. Um, you know, I'm going to... I'm gonna change things up. I'm gonna add a splash of reverb. You know, like when you're cooking, you just put a little dash of salt on there. I'm gonna splash some reverb on this. See how broken it gets. Let the verb do its thing. Let it simmer. Enough with cooking analogies, because I'm, I'm not a good cook. But I just wanna, you know, metaphorically kind of lead you where we're going here.
say, you know, that that tone was good. It was kind of like, you know, you're in a skating rink, you're skating around, and it's on fire, and you're hungry. There's no access to food, and you want to keep skating, and you remember, of course, it's on fire, and you can't get out. That's what that sounded like. But did it destroy the signal? I don't know. It's on. Next up is Jupiter Effects Super Weirdo Glitch Super Fuzz Time Modulation Unit. It's it's gonna get really weird because the name says it will. I don't even need to say it. It's all destroyed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Last but not least, at number seven in this voyage journey of destroying our guitar tone is the Electro Harmonics Mainframe Bit Crusher. This is one of my favorite pedals of last year. We're going to see if we can crush some bits. See what happens. That was, it brought back some things, you know, it stirred up some stuff. I watched a lot of Sesame Street as a kid and that was definitely like nightmare on Sesame Street. A lot of, you just picture it, you know, chaos, Grover losing his mind, Big Bird, the whole thing. It's horrifying. But the question is, does it and did it destroy the guitar? It's all destroyed. one small step for me. Today's record time is brought to you by a greatest hits compilation that came out in 2020. It is Beastie Boys Music. It's just a ton of popular and good songs by the Beastie Boys. Appropriately for this episode, Make Some Noise is on this. And all my favorites, Fight for Your Right, Brass Monkey, but Intergalactic. That's my favorite Beastie Boys song. In the comments below, let me know what you think about them. What's your favorite song? If you love them or hate them, especially if you hate them, I want to know all about your hate. So just drop that down in the comments. I really enjoy reading that at night before I go to bed. Um, that's it. Thanks so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed these destructive guitar tones. I know a few of you did and the rest of you didn't, but you're here. So if you liked it, hit like or don't subscribe or don't and click the bell thing or don't. I wish you'd do all three because that'd be cool, but whatever. There is a store you can go to, the jhshow.com. Shirts like this, other things. I think there's even a onesie on there. There's like stickers maybe. I don't. We have stickers? We don't have any stickers. We should do that. There is a Patreon as well. You can go support the show. I have nothing else to say. I'm really tired. Pretty destructive day. <laughs>